Hello, hello. How's it going? Oh my gosh. Hello. My lady. Hi, prof. Hi, Justin. How are we? Good morning. Oh, big old grunt from uh, Ruster Tan. Happy Easter Monday and also April 1st. I'm waiting stuff from pranks or jokes. Yeah, I didn't prepare anything, though. Actually, <laughs> my Twitch from Friday would know that I was thinking about doing a video where I, like, tried, like, gore grind vocals, but, like, burping them. <laughs> Which I still could, because I could probably find a like vocal plugin that's similar to that one that um Hans I think is his name from uh, last days of humanity <laughs> I could find a plugin that's like what he uses and just put it into <laughs> put it into FL studio and then try it we could see also is anybody else's in like metal archives white in the background or is it just me do I need to, like, update my computer? <laughs> Love your shirt. Thank you, Prof. If you don't like Deicide, you don't like death metal. I got it as a gift a while ago. Sounds like a Patreon video. <laughs> You're never on Patreon? Uh, honestly, so rude. Yeah, you freaking... <laughs> You're subscribed to it, are you not? Hi, Varg. Oh, metal, metal Archives? Oh, okay. Yeah, for some reason, it's, like, white on my thing. I guess I just need to, like, update my laptop then. Metallium changed their background color. Yeah, it's white, right? Oh, I bet you it's for April Fool's. I bet you. Because I that's another thing I was kind of wanting to do on this stream was to see what Metal Archives was going to do for April Fool's. Because they got me last year. They got me last year when they said um, that they were going to get rid of uh, Black Metal. Hi, Tasmania Metal. How are you? How did the recordings go? They went very well. I'm still looking for a drummer. So... <laughs> Holler at your girl if you're interested on in being on my record. So, <laughs> um, yeah, if you're wondering where I was, um, also if you hear noise, I have Rusty in my crate, in her crate. Um, yeah, if you're wondering where I was the last week, um, why well, I haven't been posting as much, I was recording my for my record. So, um, yeah. I was doing it in my home studio, so this was like a whole ass recording thing. Um, that's why I've got the, the keyboard behind me. I got my mic set up here. <sighs> so I did, the album is going to be like 18 to 21 tracks, give or take a few interludes. Um, and right now I've got nine tracks solidly. They're not like done, done, but the, the base foundation is there. So I still need to do the other ones. I was hoping that my old drummer would respond back to me, but he never did. So <laughs> Kaya, bruh, just bang trash cans and lampshades like I did. But bro, there's a difference. There's a difference between like metal drums and like what I want for my drums. So because my old drummer never responded, um, yeah, I either need to find a local drummer um, or I need to find one remotely <laughs> or I program them myself. So I know that somebody in Twitch said that they would write to me about like some good uh, VSTs for drumming. So because I'm so picky about my instruments, girl. You know, I want, I just want it to sound good. I want, I like using real instruments as much as like, like within reason, like obviously they make really good um, synths and synthetic strings and you can make your, you know, MIDI drum sound really good, but I like to use a real thing if I can. So, hi Wicket, how are you? <laughs> so blast beats are out of the question. I don't know if I could do 
blast beats, honestly. Like, have those, like, work with my actual songs, though, you know? I don't know, maybe. But it's, it's like, southern singer-songwriter country music with blast beats. <laughs> God, that sounds like ass. <laughs> it's like BBC video of spaghetti that grows on trees. What? <laughs> You want an organic organic sound, as they call it? Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to get as organic as I possibly can. Because that's just the kind of musician I am. I mean, with the the last record that never got officially released, but the Ballad of Antler Bear, which is available on YouTube, is like a playlist on my channel. I got a real choir to do stuff for that. Granted, it was a high school choir because I was trying to. You know, it's hard to find like a real choir. Within budget for your album. So, but, yeah, I, 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 I'm I looking for a drummer. So, if you're interested, it's not going to be metal, but if you're interested, write to me. <laughs> Essentially. So, the real deal is the best. I think so. Well, I'm kind of like, I don't know. My my thing right now is I'm really trying to get this record done. Um, so I'm really happy with the work I put into it. Like I said, I got nine tracks solidly, um, you know, demoed. I just need to get, I, I'd like to get drums. I'd like to get drums on there. And then I have somebody that could do like guitar and bass work, Um but obviously, like, you need the percussion first. You need the actual, the rhythm, the drums. So, especially when your budget is broke AF. Oh, shush. My budget is not broke AF. It's just not, like, you know, backed by a label. <laughs> so, <laughs> sampling is good for demos and stuff, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be... I'll be sampling stuff for sure. I'm like putting together some ideas for that. Um, so it's exciting. It feels really good to be like back in the studio working on stuff, you know. Um, so regardless, I think your album will sound incredible. You think so? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it does. I'm going to try hard, you know. But I'm I'm just doing it for Spoon. I'm doing it for my, my old dog. So, and myself, I guess, to, like, prove to myself that I can actually do it, you know. I've been putting it off for a really long time, and I don't know. I don't know when I'll rec record and release more music, so we'll see. <laughs> You're definitely looking forward to it. Oh, my gosh. Well, and I'm also doing it for y'all. I do have a song, um, which is funny because... One of my uh, mod spoother was like, you should write a song about us. Little does he know that I've actually had a song written about my subscribers for like two or three years. I know it's kind of corny, but <laughs> Ariana Grande released her new album March 8th. I know you hate her now, but I thought it was awesome. I haven't heard it yet. I don't like her. Should I listen to it? I've been avoiding her. And honestly, like when I look at when I research her name on Twitter, I really want her to flop. Is that bad? <laughs> it's very jazzy. Ugh. <laughs> Hi, Spooth. How are you? You have an electronic kit to add some drums to my guitar of for fun, but I would defo use a real drummer for recording. Yeah, like ideally I would like to use a real drummer, but um, I mean, you can make an electronic drum kit sound really good, you know, and my dad was a drummer. Um, and I've always thought about getting one and like t trying it out. Cause I don't know. I've, I've always thought it would be really good to learn how to play the drums, but avoiding Ariana so much for separating the art from the artist. I said that Ariana was a special case. <laughs> I thought you could separate the art from the artist. I can't except for her. She's my exception. And I explained this. So, there's some affordable kits. Yeah. She is special. She's not. She's a homewrecker. 
I can separate the art from the artist, but I don't know. It, it really depends. And I mentioned it like uh, the, what I mentioned was it depends on how invested you were in their music, what you went through when you were listening to that person's music and whether or not you emotionally connected with it, you know? So like for me, it's like I listened to this was before I ever really got into metal, but I listened to Ariana Grande for a bulk period of time when I was with my ex and that was awful and it was like I don't know I just really emotionally connected with a lot of Ariana Grande's music so when she like had that whole homewrecker thing happen I was like girl it just like ruined it ruined my whole opinion of her so especially since she's blonde now she looks so bad with blonde hair I ain't gonna lie (laughs) <laughs> profs just talking about Beyonce cover songs <laughs> Ariana Grande dick moo banished <laughs> well yeah I mean that's what I said it really depends and I thought about doing a video about like can you separate the art from the artist but I didn't want people to be like well so you'll like Burzum but you won't like Ariana Grande there's a difference And I'm like, well, you know, I'm like, it really depends on how you emotionally connected with the songs. You know, it's like, I still love Kanye. I I mean, I don't listen to anything recently within the last like since like 2016. But hi, Luis. How are you? I don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry. I'm just messing, girl. No, I know. Never heard of him. (laughs) Oh, gosh. It's more like, it's more like for Ari, like, I really, she was, like, my boss babe. Like, I listened to her, like, positions. I listened to that album, like, extensively every single day for, like, two years before, like, all of this stuff. And so when that whole, like, thing happened, it basically, like, made positions a total lie. And I was like, girl, nah. She is great at positions. Ariana is a chick and she hates chicks. She really does. Rusty is doing so good, Varg. She's doing super, super good. Um, she will be 10 months in three days. And um, yeah, she's uh, she's still hasn't gone into heat yet. She's still tiny. I think I'm hoping I weigh her this month. Um yeah, I actually got to get her the flea tick and heartworm medicine today. But I'm going to weigh her. I'm hoping she's 45 pounds. So, <laughs> so the hair flip with the hand, me, 10 months. I know it goes by so fast. So super stinking fast. My goal is like once she's about like three or four years old, I'd like to get a second one. That's always like the best way to do it is you wait until your first dog's like four and then you get your second one. So I'd like to get my second bloodhound and I might name him Willard because she's named after um, a character in the newest Footloose and she was dating this other guy named Willard. And so I kind of want to do like Rusty and Willard. This is going to be years from now. So when will you be recording next? I will basically just be recording here and there um, as the weeks go on. But I took the opportunity last week just because, you know, my boyfriend was going to be out of town. I was going to have the whole house to myself. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'll limit the amount of like days I work and then I'll just focus on recording and so I was like if I can at least get a bulk amount of songs like I got like half the record recorded essentially just the foundation of it so it's a really good starting point so now I'm just going to be kind of like practicing tempos for some of these newer songs I mean honestly like um I got all the pretty good basic ones but there's a couple um that I still need to practice the tempos with so Kaya, is this album for your band, Kaya on the Mountain? That's the thing is I don't know 
if I want it to be under Kaya on the mountain or if I want it to just be like Kaya Peltier. So it's not going to be standard 12 tracks or less. That's the thing is I don't know. I don't know because like um, I know. Well, Metallic Death, you were a part of that conversation in Patreon. We talked about how I was just going to do like an 18 or 20 song album and then just do like a two vinyl series. Kai on the Mountain is a great name. Like, I mean, I'll, I think I'll probably just keep it under Kai on the Mountain, honestly, because I was going to put it on. I'm not going to I'm not really going to promote my music on this channel because I know a lot of you don't care. Honestly, a lot of people are just here for like the metal and whatever. So I'm just going to keep it separate so it's not like shoved in your face. If you don't care, um, cause it's not metal. So, um, that'll be on my like Kai on the mountain YouTube page. There will be vinyl. There will be vinyl. So, um, I'll probably do, yeah, I'll probably do like a double LP gatefold sort of thing. That's going to be kind of expensive, but that's okay. Like, like I said, I'd like to do that and then do a CD um yeah just change it to kai on the mountain kai on top of the world oh god <laughs> you were just recording 18 and choosing 12 like what most artists do now because originally i was thinking about doing like 13 tracks as like a standard edition and then doing a deluxe edition um you know but I think I'm just going to do them all. I'm open-minded, though. I got to explore your music. <laughs> yes. Kaya on BBC. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, basically everybody, like, if I, not that I would ever get featured on BBC, but that's all I would think about is our horse in Red Dead. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think, I don't, I, I mean, like I said, I thought about doing a standard and then doing a deluxe, but I was like, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do all the songs because honestly, I think it would just be easier. It would be a long album, but kind of my idea is it's been so long since I've released an album that I'd like to just do everything that I've written so far and just put it out there because like I said, I don't know when I'm going to have another um, when I'm going to record another album, I don't know how that's going to work. So I'd rather just push everything out and be like, here you go. This has been my life for the last like six, seven years. Enjoy. <laughs> so <laughs> who ordered the new Morning Ready P? So I was going to look at like new releases for April too. I just realized it's freaking April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day, guys. I don't have I don't have a prank for you. I <laughs> I thought about it, but <laughs> an album for every decade. That's cool. Me? Uh uh. What am I? Sixty. Found you on Apple Music now. Yes. Yeah, I have um, two albums should be on Apple Music and Spotify, and then my third one is just on a playlist here because it was never officially released so <sighs> apple music god <laughs> yeah i mean that's pretty much what it is so um it's really bothering me that metal archives is background is white Android? Dude, don't freaking say anything bad about Androids. Androids are great. Just not with Metro POS. Oh. Sounds better than Spotify to me, actually, but to each their own. <laughs> um, Let's see what is coming out. Um... New metal releases. Okay, yeah. And so, Six Feet Under is releasing a new album. Some of you may know I'm working on a video for them. 
relax and pass gas. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Walking Maddie. I agree. New metal. Is that six feet under? Are six feet under considered new metal? I don't think so. <laughs> I just know that they're releasing something. Bro, why is Metal Archives actually in a white background? Why is this? Is that the case over here? Hold on. Bro, that is the case. You're telling me that this has to be a part of their freaking... This has to be a part of their April Fool's joke. <laughs> it has to be. There's no there's no message uh, from them. Because last year they decided to do... <laughs> yeah. I know that they, they wanted to like get rid of black metal. That was the last one they did. <laughs> yeah where's the six feet under this dick video bestie that's on red too <laughs> has some good early albums not lately though yeah so um yeah i'm gonna be kind of jumping into a video for them um with this new release um so if you're curious about the new um six feet under album that comes out may 10th um, so kind of interested a little bit. Um, it looks like a Wikipedia page now. It does, doesn't it? Uh, it's really tripping me out. It's definitely an April Fool's joke for sure. Uh, who do we have that is releasing stuff? Massacre released a new single, Evil Dead Rise. Uh, shit rotator. I don't know what that is. Brutal death metal gore grind released an EP called Flesh Devastation. Why the f on my birthday? Yeah, everybody, it's Spooth's birthday, so make sure you um get him a download code for that new Six Feet Under album and the vinyl too. Never use Spotify; it makes me uncomfortable. I used to use. Spotify, but now I just pay for YouTube Premium. <laughs> I think my request for this Wednesday should honestly be saved for a video. What do you think? What did you send, bestie? For a video? Like a deep dive? Uh, yeah. uh, let's see. You put it in Metal Racks? Have you heard Petrification? maybe I don't think so I think I confused them with a different band that also starts with a P I'm forgetting what they're called I just mentioned them in a video recently there's so many band names I'm so bad with band names uh oh, Faust and Spirit released something what did you put in here uh okay dsbm oh god oh god youtube has an issue with that though for silencer there's a lot surrounding a mystery of sorts yeah i felt really bad for wyatt x him because he was having a lot of issues with his dsbm video And, like, <laughs> I don't know. I felt really bad because I feel like I should have messaged him and been like, yo, you got to change the word. <laughs> you got to say, like, I don't know. I don't know. Pick a different word for the S. Yes. You can't say that word in your video. He's pretty great. I love his videos. Definitely an inspiration for sure. Because he reminds me a lot. And I think he might be trying to do this. I don't, I don't know. But. Um, he did like a stop motion video, uh, iceberg for like stop motion horror movies. I think it was, I didn't watch it, but I knew that he was doing it. Um, cause I am subscribed to him, but 
he it, he kind of reminds me of like Wyatt or um what's his name Wendigoon. That video kind of reminded me of Wendigoon a little bit, but like the metal version. Have you heard the new Borknagar? Yes, it's so good. Fall, it's so good. Borknagar is easily one of like my favorite metal bands um, to discover this year for sure. Pharmacist, I think that's who I'm thinking of. That's like the other P name. Nationalist societal black metal oh god um drowning the light i have not i have not okay so you want me to do a whole video on silencer i mean i'm down do you have a specific like do they have a lot of like a big discography or is it just like one particular album like what are you thinking i've got some i'm working on okay so i'm filming um a new video today tomorrow morning i'm thinking about doing the patreon uh deep dive or like a exclusive reaction um and then i'm working on two other videos right now on top of that so just this one album is all they made, bestie. Depressive black metal. Yeah, you just have to avoid the S word. Wow, that's a really creepy photo they have on this thing. Hold on. Why is that so creepy? Wow, that is really disturbing for that Natrum dude. Deep dissection video. <laughs> Yes, I love the deep dives. So, I mean, that's why I've also been like, I haven't posted anything. It's Death Pierce Me. Is that what it is? Can't wait for the deicide. I'm really excited about deicide too. Yeah, I mean, that's why I haven't posted anything recently is because I've been working on this one video um, and I needed time to like get my research done, um, you know, really listen to the vinyls, look at them, get my thoughts together, um, and stuff. So I'm excited. I'm excited about this new thing. And then, yeah, I'm working on, and this one video is going to be like a three part series, technically like a four part series. So any new folk metal albums? I don't know. Corpic Kalani. Deicide is going to be average at best. Yeah, so Deicide, yeah, they've got their new album. Oh, my God, yeah, it comes out this month. Did anybody else feel like March lasted, like, forever? Am I the only one who thought March lasted for way too long? People thought freaking January lasted for too long. <laughs> Yes, it comes out April 26th. So that's really cool. Um, let's revisit, actually. So we'll revisit the new albums. Albums releasing in 2024. So like I mentioned at the beginning of March, Deicide so far was the only one that actually had a new release date. So we knew the title of the album, but no official release date. Then they we now have one. Um, I think we're still in the fog for King Diamond. So, what's your B-Day month, Kaya? It's July. July 12th. I got to go real quick. Ah, bye, Tasmanian. We love you. March was awfully long, right? I feel like March was way too freaking long. And I'm just like, bro, this month does not need to be five weeks. Okay? Five weeks. <gasps> She's dreaming. She's making the little puppy dreamy noises. <laughs> um, Let's see. We've got some power metal with Heroes of the Gauntlet. I'm just seeing what new stuff is coming out. Poser? Me? Why? What I do? Can we do a music stream just for your birthday? Yeah, we could do that. I usually like to do a music stream anyway on YouTube, and then we could do a 
We could do a music stream. Just stopping by to say hi. Do you know? You'll have your chance to see Crypto and OKC. There will be on tour with Hatebreed. Yes. So that's the thing. It's like this year has been dry AF for tours in Oklahoma. And Crypta and like Cryptopsy are the only two bands that are even worth a damn coming to o Oklahoma for me. So yes, absolutely going to go and see Crypta in October because um, Russ, one of my mods in Discord, said that they were fireballs nasty live. So yeah, you have to do a birthday stream. It's the big 4-0. Excuse me? <laughs> Are you calling me 40? This is the second time you've, like, referenced me as old, bestie. You just said a song for every decade as if I was, like, 200 years old. Like, bestie. That is honestly so rude. <laughs> <laughs> always keep your bottom dry and warm oh god walking mad is just talking about crap <laughs> don't shit your pants on the way out god uh alchemist power thrash metal i literally there's nothing on here that even is remotely something i've heard of temple of the fuzz witch Kaya is the 200-year-old witch on the mountain. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Hi, Patreon. Hi, Trash Maniac. How are you? You're a hobbit? The fuck? What do you mean? What is that, what is that actually supposed to mean? <laughs> like, get wrecked, me. People think I'm, like, massive, too. I think there was... There were, I think there was somebody that thought I was, like, almost six feet tall. Breakfast time. Been preparing myself for a Pantera album ranking video. Oh, God. That sounds awful. How is that going? I'm a few weeks off. I'm not 40, bub. Y'all need to calm down, okay? I ain't even 30 yet. Look what you're doing. Look what you're actually doing, Metallic Death. Oh, my God. My actual goodness. Alestorm is coming ugh, to Oklahoma April 18th. Yeah, not going to happen. Not going to happen. I can't with this freaking white background, bro. Oh. Um. Am I actually going to have to put my damn glasses on? It's so hard to read this now. Just spitting facts. I'll be dirty 30 in August. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Adam. How are you? Probably going to record it later today. Yes, I'm doing a video also today. So I have to put on my glasses because of the white background in Metal Archives is like too much for me. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, Within Temptation, looks like they're releasing a single, A Fool's Parade. Not that I care. God, there's just like nothing coming out, dude. Nothing even, like, of importance. It is so dry. I'm going to see Mortuous in April. Are you? Ooh. How are, uh, are you excited about that? Demon Slot 666. Uh, God, there's just, like, nothing. Actually, nothing. Vultures. That's what's, like, so hard, like, to do those, um, like, new metal releases. It's, like, when there's dry AF, like it is right now, it's so hard to come up with names. You have an ASMR voice? <sighs> I don't think so, but I appreciate it. Everybody's talking about freaking Carrie King. Second half of April looks great. My Dying Bride, High on Fire, Deicide, Except, and Dark Throne. Dark Throne's releasing something, huh? Yeah, see? I'm on April 12th right now, and I haven't seen anything. Spit on Your Grave is releasing something. 
I ain't seeing nothing, bruv. In the fire. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Mm -mm. Bloody Falls. Yeah, literally don't recognize any of these band names, dude. For the uh, Corpiclani album, what are they? You're waiting for the Texas Domination Fest? Ooh, that's a new festival. Should we look at the lineup? Is the lineup pretty good? Haunted is releasing a new album on the 19th. Uh, I recognize that. My Dying Bride. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Late April is where we actually got, like, the good, the good stuff. So, <laughs> um, did you, what did you say about my age up here? Those glasses are from the 60s? No, they're, they're recent, girl. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go see Crypto. Hold on. Uh, My Day Bride. I already said that. That comes out August 19th. Uh, Crusade, Conquest, Bloodbound, Nuclear Tomb. Ugh, now we're back to like bands I don't even recognize. Do, 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 Infestus, Oppressor. I don't even see Deicide on here. Yeah, because they come out. That's like, what, the 26th? Hi, Poet. How are you? You're seeing Crypto on the Hate Breed Tour? Yes, Queen. Um, In October. That's like the, like I said, that's like the only, like, tour that's coming here that's even worth a damn i think if topsy's coming next month uh my god it's drier than a freaking 80 year old cooter up in here it is literally it is there's nothing there's deicide finally we got something deicide Ugh. and that's basically it uh -huh. Pestilence? Did we know Pestilence was coming out with something? Or did you mention that? Did somebody mention Pestilence? Your glasses? What about them? You like them? Thank you. I just can't read freaking Metal Archives with this white background, Bestie. They're freaking trolling me right now. Drier than what? <laughs> Then an 80-year-old cooter, girl. There ain't nothing on here. More pestilence. You only care about the mainstream bands? What a poser. I just don't recognize any of these other bands. Not that It's not that, you know, I only care about the more mainstream. It's just I don't recognize literally any of these people. Excuse me. Um, like... What, do you know Party Cannon? Bet you don't. Full of Hell, Thala, Talia. Is that Talia? I feel like I've heard of them. Void Womb, Testament is having a compilation record. Here's Dark Throne. It be beckons us all. April 26th. So same day as it's not Tala. It's Talia. T H A L I A. Um, so we've got Dark Throne releasing the same day as uh, Deicide, and then Testament is releasing Mutilated Limb, which is a compilation album. Party Ganon is good. You don't recognize those bands? What? Like, you recognize every single band on freaking Metal Archives? No. That's the thing. But that's okay. Oh, God. Why is this band releasing, like, a thousand EPs on the same day? Of course, it's black metal. Minenwerfer? Minenwerfer? They're literally releasing... Minen. Werfer. One, two, 
three, four EPs on the same day, all different titles. <laughs> the Archives is doing, yes, right? Metal Archives is doing an April Fool's thing where their background is white. And that's why I'm wearing my fucking damn glasses, girl. Sorry, not sorry. I am <laughs> the Metal Archives. <laughs> where are they from? This band, Men and Werfer? Minimal Wafer. Can we hear what's coming in May? Yeah, I can do May. Uh, Minimal Wayfair is <laughs> Men and Werfer. Oh, they're black metal from uh, California. Black metal from Sacramento, California. And they have to release four EPs on the same day. <laughs> Men and Wafers. <laughs> hey, this guy. Hey, hey. Minimal Warfare. Yeah, right. <laughs> What'd you say about California? Busty, I'm about to move to California, so it's okay. Um, Suicidal Ideation, I've heard of that band. They're releasing full-length album, Songs After Dissipation. So, Min, Min Warfer. No, they're not from freaking Norway, dude. They're from California. Freaking California. Uh, Shattenfang. Burning. Dark Flight. I mean, what do we think about suicidal ideation? I haven't listened to them yet. Intestinal Dissection. I mean, now that's April 30th. So we'll go into May. Prof wants to go into May real quick. Anything I recognize? What do we know that's coming out of May? Pirate Queen? Never heard of them. As the Sun Falls. Naxon. Who is that? Do you play video games? Yes. Poorly. What's coming out May 10th? <laughs> Six feet under. <laughs> Do you like Trans Siberian Orchestra? That's like a wow. That's such a great little grunt. That's um like Sabotage's other project, right? That's what they came into, right? Part of my ignorance. It's freaking band names, dude. It's so hard to keep track of everything. So they're posers, exactly. They're a black metal band that's releasing four EPs talking about World War II, but they're from California. Okay. Um, May has new Kratty. I haven't seen them yet. I'm still on the first thing. Let's see. Swallow the Sun compilation record. Warlord. Uh, let's see. Excuse me. Take offense. Crown shift. Freedom call. After time. Red rot. Necrophagia. That's right. Necrophagia. Uh, Moribundus Grim. Coming out May 10th. Six feet under. Killing for revenge. So, she should have played it since 40. Excuse me. <sighs> Can never pronounce a Corpa Clani album. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm bad at pronouncing things. <laughs> don't, don't come at me. Uh, Flame Keeper, Lichen, uh, Dodenkrot. You know, there's some things that, like, Metal Archives doesn't have on here. So, yeah, there's Nocturnus AD. That is, um, if I'm remembering correctly, that's 
No, that's not exhumed. No, not exhumed. Who am I thinking of? Entombed. Because entombed was entombed AD, right? Am I getting that right? Don't come at me. All of these, because that was entombed, became entombed AD, right? Am I just like totally being dumb right now? Nocturnus is good. Nocturnus AD, Tampa, Florida. Okay, technical death metal. Yep. That already sounds really good. The name was changed to After Death in 2000, so it would not be associated with Nocturnus. Yeah, yeah. And then the vocalist. What? JT, why are you yawning? Yeah, okay, so it is in Tomb Daddy. Why? What did I do? What am I boring you? <laughs> um Pathology Rotting Christ, that's right. May twenty fourth. Ugh, oh, love Rotting Christ. Just recently listened to them on Patreon. They were really good. <laughs> Nocturnus and AD Man Man is Morbid Angel's original drummer. Dat and May. Gothic metal? Not really. I'm more into the extreme stuff, my dude. Y'all know this. I blame the fact that Cannibal Corpse is like my first introduction. Rotting Christ is so solid. Creator. Compilation record coming out on the 24th. Um, Freak Kitchen. Experimental heavy metal. Everyone gets bloody. That sounds awful. Have you heard Necrophagist? <sighs> I think I did. If I'm remembering correctly, I think I did Necrophagist. Um, I think I did... If I, because there's Necrophagist and then Necrophagia. No, I don't think I did this band. Mm -mm. Isn't Necrophagist the one? No, it doesn't have. Necrophobic as well. I know there's so many. Girls skipped right past Bat. What are you talking about? Hydrate? Oh, yeah. Thank you. I have it pulled up. I just didn't see it. <laughs> Knocked loose. Oh, God. <laughs> um, um, creator, reverse, there's mortal wound. Painful. This list is painful. Agriculture, Rhapsody of Fire. Oh God, I need my damn glasses again, girl. Metal Archives, why? Black Sabbath, compilation record on the 31st. That's it. That's literally all that's on here for uh, freaking Metal Archives. So... That's all I got. The Goat of Mendez. <laughs> Loves 69 eyes. What does that mean? But the music for Silent Hill 1 through 3 is really good. I believe it. I think they're making a new Silent Hill video game, right? For the PS5? What is it? Is it 2? Texas Domination Fest? Okay, yeah, I will. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of a slim pickings for music this year, at least for me. Which, you know, it's not surprising because last year was, like, so freaking stacked for releases. So, it's a remake? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, we'll do the Texas Domination Festival. 
see if I can pull it up over here. Drink from the goblet. The goblet of gore. Um, let's see. It's the what? Texas Domination Festival? Yeah. Please tell me you actually have an, a legitimate website. Is it in Illinois? Ugh. Yeah, it is. I wonder if they have a lineup. Bestie. Come on. Give me some sort of lineup. Nothing, huh? Is this it? Three more killer editions this week. Of course, they don't have the actual, like, names. I mean, they do, but they don't. It's on Facebook. She didn't recognize death lyrics. <laughs> what? Lyrics are hard. Where's the Beltradeem? There isn't a Beltradeem. More hydrates, huh? Fine. <laughs> Hi. Tlock, lock, talalock. How are you? <laughs> talalock. That's what I got. Um, I'm trying to find this actual thing so I can read the bands uh one more week ahead filled with revelations of three more monumental bands i have a lip twitch it's great <sighs> human artifacts okay so it looks like we have okay we have sinister goo goodalax guttalax Guinea pig, human artifacts, uh, soulfish bowels, uh, what is this? Molested deviation. I'm like reading from the actual like font, which is hard. So, <laughs> oh God, she sent the link. Where at? Drink from the goblet. The goblet of gore. Mm. Yeah, so I know that Diablo 4 is on Game Pass now, which is kind of funny. No, I stopped playing it. I returned my copy. So, I've just been, like, knee-deep in Stardew Valley, my little farming game. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> And then I started Cyberpunk for the PS5. You're fired? What did I do? I want to see you play Elden Ring. Oh, God, why? <laughs> that is going to be rough. <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of brutal death and grime bands. Total bore fest. Oh, come on. Crush the castle? No. I do have Skyrim, though. I do have Skyrim, so we could play that. I might take a break from Resident Evil 4 for a little bit because, honestly, it was driving me nuts the last time we played it. Mildew Valley. Don't talk about my game like that. Okay? Yeah, we can play Skyrim. I also have, um, what is it? Horizon Zero Dawn and GTA 5. So, <laughs> Mid Dew Valley. It does sound like a lot of gore bands. I just don't like that they don't have like an actual like list of stuff. Hold on. Single Day. <sighs> Why is it just on Facebook? Let's see if they have anything on Instagram. Hold on. Yes, I'm applying chapstick. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. No, it's still the same freaking thing. 
Uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck with all of that. If you want to see it, I can show it to you. Hold on. That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's the only thing they've got for their their band names. The Wormed. Uh, that this is Gudalax, Skinny Pig, Human Artifacts, uh, Squash, Bowels, Sinister is here, Severed Savior, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I got. <laughs> Wormed Kicks Ass, yeah. Angry Birds? I do remember Angry Birds. So. <laughs> Architectural Genocide? Is that what that is? Um, I mean, people are saying it. It's a good lineup. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And they got all these other photos. Who's this? Uh, Severed Savior. This one. Ugh, it's like the longest freaking announcement for one band. Just tell me the name. Inherent Disease. There you go. I see nothing but flat brimmed hats and pill pig squeals, yeah. Back in. Didn't we look at that lineup and thought it was weird? Try a hardcore survival game called The Long Dark. You have permadeath. Oh god, no. No thank you. You know, I almost bought um Outlast. For $3 on Steam when it was on sale last summer. And I was like, I don't know. You know, it's only $3. So, I didn't, I didn't. But, <laughs> I did buy, uh, I did buy, what was it? <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 7. Not knowing that that's the scariest one in the game. In the entire series. So, play Fortnite? No. I'd rather play Overwatch. If I'm going to play Fortnite, I'm going to subject you to freaking Overwatch. That's all it is. Why do you look so buff, bestie? Me? Bro, it ain't buffness, that's for sure. It must be the shirt. Why do you have to be so mean? Huh? Or the enchiladas? Honestly, so rude. Are you trying to call me fat? <laughs> she left in. Lifting this dick. At back in this year will be an all female black metal band called As Grammar. No, a muscle mom, a muscle mommy. <laughs> oh god. We'll go with that. Sure. <laughs> Lord. I'm hoping that this DSI record is pretty good. Um, what are our thoughts on this new Six Feet Under album? She blushing. RE7 is scarier than a nine foot tall woman with a huge bazongas like in Resident Evil Village. I wish that she lasted longer though. You know, like. They kind of just like killed her off super fast, just like they did with, um, there was another character recently that they killed off. Was it in four? I'm kind of loved the news. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> Resident Evil 1 HD is the scariest. Six Feet hasn't put out an album worth listening to in my lifetime. That's what's so interesting. Is there's a lot of decent reviews on Haunted. 
I don't know. I'm going to be getting into a lot of it um, very, very soon. So I'm excited about it. Um, but I need to I need to catch up on Six Feet Under's discography before I uh, check out this new album. <laughs> so I don't know. I do not know. You hope they resurrect her in the future? There was another character. I don't think it was in a Resident Evil. What was it? She was like a delicious dommy mommy and they killed her off really early. But it wasn't in Resident Evil. But it was in a similar game. What was it that I'm thinking about? <sighs> ah. It was like a recent game. And they killed her off. She was like so hot. It's back. What's back? What is back? Chris Barnes is a zoophiliac. Does that mean he like the British accent? Oi. <laughs> Does that mean that he like messes with animals? Is that what that basically means? <laughs> what? He touches animals? You've got to be faffing me. Bro, he does not. Are you telling me that he's a, like, a doggy diddler? Like, he's like a, like a zoo animal diddler? Can you review the devil's blood? What is that? Tell me. Tell me your secrets. It's called bestiality. But yeah, is there a difference between like a zoophiliac and a and a and bestiality? Is he a doggy diddler? Is he like a, you know, a zoo animal? What? <laughs> Are you telling me that he is like a monkey diddler? Like he's like an elephant rider? A zebra striper? Like, are you telling me he's, he's like that? Hold on. You're, am I going to get put on a list if I look it up? <laughs> I'm going to draw up a logo for Doggy Diddler. What about an aquarium filiac? I don't know why I said it like that. Aquarium. <laughs> that certainly wouldn't be me. I hate the water. Are you kidding me? You're not going to see me flicking the bean for some fish, that's for sure. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. You ever think about those things? Or you just think about random stuff? And you're like, man, I bet you somebody's done that. You know, I bet you somebody has done that. Now that you mention aquarium filiac, I'm like, I bet you somebody has jerked it to an aquarium. Like, staring at a fish, jerking the meat. <laughs> I know, I saw it. I got it. Don't worry about that. Do you ever have thoughts like that, though? Where you're like, man, I bet somebody's done that. You're like, no, nobody's, nobody would be capable of doing that. Have I listened to the new Aborted? I have not. Honestly, I have not. I've been so bad. I, do you think I'm the only one? That's fair. I like Tom Cruise. What about him? <laughs> <laughs> patriarch why are you so funny <laughs> I honestly hope not bro can you imagine you just like go to an aquarium with your kids and whatever and you just see some dude just like jerking it to a freaking fish tank like actually I I wouldn't be surprised I wouldn't be surprised honestly with how weird the world is right now I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> Okay, I was going to look up something. Should I look up this thing with Chris Barnes? I don't really want to. I guess we know what you're searching for online after streams. That is not true. Somebody said something about something that I should look up. Hold on. Leopard Licker. <laughs> now that's a name. Leopard liquor. Um, tortoise toucher. 
Hold on. Somebody said something that I should look up, and now I don't know where it is. The Devil's Blood. Yeah, what's The Devil's Blood? What is that? I'm hydrating for you. Um. Was it Chris Barnes that I got mad at the Kardashians for wearing a Cannibal Corpse shirt? It was. <laughs> it's a movie. I'm down for movies. But do you want that in your search history? I mean... I don't know. Do I? Why don't one of you take it, you know, take one for the team and look at it? Hi, my chef spider. How are you? What did you say, Kim? Hold on. You should check out the new Deception N.O. album if you like tech death. Eye roll. Why are you eye rolling me, bestie? <laughs> I'm a guy who's hydrating. I am. We had weirder stuff in our search history. Okay, hold on. No, you're not getting out. Go lay down. Lay down and quiet. Devil's Blood is an occult rock band similar to Ghost, but much less poppy sounding. Ooh, with black metal and Satan himself. Go on. Is it decent? Lay down and quiet. Yeah. Lay down. She's a good girl. She'll get it. She'll get it. All right. So what should I look up? Is it like Chris Barnes? Um, animals? Question mark? Rusty trying to escape. She's just whining. Kai's FBI agent going to get a promotion today. <laughs> Lay down, baby. Good girl. All right. I just put... Uh, Chris Barnes Animals. Christopher Barnes Chester Zoo. Mm. It's a lot of people named Chris Barnes that are not related. I don't know. No, don't look it up. There's nothing. Chris Barnes animal video. Do I put like Chris Barnes animal animal video? Oh, I already know about the beef between those two. Don't say April Fools. Is this an April Fools joke? Are you getting me right now? I forgot. It's the first of April. Don't do this to me. <laughs> y'all are so silly when well, I don't want to do it paranoia yeah I know I doubt it I don't think that there's anything with animals that involve him <laughs> y'all are rude what consoles do you have I have basically almost everything I have a PS5 I have a Series X I have a pink switch light and I have a gaming PC hey JT how are you just keep Chris Barnes away from your weed yeah that too <laughs> it is an April Fool's joke y'all are such trolls honestly I want to get a Steam Deck but I'm not in a rush to get it anytime soon so I gotta actually like play my consoles more before I do anything else but <laughs> I was just like well I'll just get the consoles because I can then have like physical media of like games and stuff later so yeah well, it's just nice. I mean, it's nice to have options, you know? 
Because it's like, I mean, Xbox is basically, they don't do exclusives really. Um, but I don't know. Xbox is going to be, is going through some stuff. Like, I genuinely think that they're just going to be, like, a gaming app. Like, I think they're they're going to stop actually, like, making games. They don't even really make games. They just, you know, buy companies and distribute them, you know? <laughs> distribute games. So, buy the rights to certain things. Bye, Spoo. Ugh, this again. Okay, well, then I won't talk about it, bestie. The fuck? You need to dedicate an episode to listening to Sinister properly. Yeah, I mean, that's what Tasmanian said. He's still not back. So. Damn. <laughs> well, if you don't want me to talk about something, then fine. I'll just keep my mouth shut. So, Untitled Goose Game. Oh, God. Sinister has like three great albums and then gets real bland. Are we talking about the same band? Or is he talking about Silencer? Because he said Silencer. It's not the same band. So it's not Sinister. Also, PS4, 3, and 2 are sort of retired. Yeah. Unfortunately. As do most bands. Yeah, unfortunately, they are retired. Corpic Kalani. I can look them up. Hold on. Corp. This is the band that's the... Uh, Corp. Lonnie. This is the folk metal band, yeah? Deep Dav. Mythical Stories, Nature, Alcohol, and Finnish Folklore. I have quite the discography. Oh, they're releasing a new album. Did it already come out? Ooh, April 5th. Comes out this Friday. Best band to get drunk to? I could listen to you talk all day long. Oh my god. Really? I listen to myself talk all day long. Sometimes it drives me bonkers. <laughs> so, he's kidding. <laughs> yeah, why do you have to be so rude? Huh? Huh? Turds, all of you. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, I'm. they have that album. Yeah, it's coming out April 5th. So, I won't promise a video. I've got a lot of videos i got to do. Where are the new e emotes? Bro, Twitch doesn't allow very many emotes. I, I got a lot more emotes for Discord, just so you know. Some of them are NSFW. So, if you like vibrators and spanking booties, then you can come over to my Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm saying it's dumb. <laughs> Stupid YouTube, I know. YouTube uh, doesn't really like... Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be able to have those emotes on, you know, YouTube or Twitch anyway. So. All right. I want to show you... My albums, the albums I listened to. Um, so, no, you need to lay down. I'm not here for it. Go lay down. Lay down and be quiet. We're almost done. Gracious. So, not mean. Definitely not mean. There you go. There you go. Mm, Copra. I have to figure out how to spell this real quick. <sighs> They're not on here. Why? Damn, that looks dope. This thing? Yeah. I'm trying to find it real quick. Hold on. Corpra. It's Coprophilia? 
Yeah. Coprophilia. The demo collection. If I remember, this was. I forget what this was. Hold on. Do, do, do. I just remember I enjoyed it. Demos. Is this the one that was like all of the different genres? Or was it the other one? I don't know. Coprophilia. That's what it is. <laughs> is that Briss Charn's record? Who? Posture check. I'm posturing. Corporophilia. Listen to this. I honestly don't remember the genre. I just remember I liked it. I'm trying to find it. But. I think it was on a black vinyl. If I'm remembering. Yep. And it was the demo collection. 1991-1992. You're posturing? What does that mean? I postured. I'm posturing. Thank you, Craig. I love this shirt, too. <laughs> Is a... Ew. I don't believe... I don't believe what you're saying now about Chris, Chris Yarns, okay? Because I don't know if it's an April Fool's joke or not. Hi, Robert. How are you? Um, yeah, this is such a dope cover. These kids were super freaking young. And finished death metal. There we go. Demo tapes. 1991, 1992. Chris Yarns. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I called him. You have some eye crust, Kaya? Excuse me? What the frick? What is that supposed to mean, huh? Um, yeah. Here's the back. This was really good. This was really solid. Honestly, the trolling y'all are doing is kind of out of this world. Uh, check out this band. If you want. Um, finish. Death Metal. Uh, Dawn of the 90s. And, uh, yeah, it was short-lived, but I thought this was really good. This was a banger. Really, really great grooves, great vocals, um, and I liked it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, you should check it out. And then I also have another one. Also, I don't like that this doesn't fit all the way. <laughs> This, like, Twin Peaks. I've actually never seen that show. Ever. Um, and then this one is Brutality. Which, let's see if this one's on here. This band was really, really good. And as much as I liked... Um, corp what is it again? It was... Coprophilia. As much as I liked Coprophilia, I really enjoyed this band, Brutality. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Yeah. And it was... I think it's... They're kind of like a... Come out of Finland? Are you kidding me? So much stuff has come out of Finland that's good. Yeah, a ton of great death metal. Black metals come out of freaking Finland. I swear, Finland does just, they just do it right, honestly. Um, I'm trying to see, which one is this? Exhuming the noise. I'll look it up on the album. Mm-mm-mm. 
Yes, here we go. Um, yeah, this brutality, death metal from Florida. Um, and this exhuming the noise. Will you stop making so much noise? Is a box set from 2022. But this features like a ton of different demos and home recordings from so many of their their songs it's four vinyls um so you have the abomination demo from 1987 um and then the brutality demo version one um and then different kind of versions of that brutality demo version two and it's just this brutality is so good even though it's like death metal it's like said as death metal. I say it's it's it doesn't it's everything. <laughs> There's like some like hardcore punk stuff. There's still like some thrash metal. There's some black metal, death metal sounds. Like it is ooh, I don't know if I can show the back. <laughs> I'm not gonna show the back, but it's really really solid. So brutality. You should check out this band if you're looking for something different. It's Tampa death metal from the old days so i really enjoyed it you need to lay down and be quiet so what are you talking about jt behexen beharit yeah behexen came out of uh finland are we just talking about finnish bands bands that have come out of finland Yep, Children of Bodom. <laughs> Horna. <clears throat> I'd rather listen to Montrosity. Fine. Do what you want. Do what you will. And then everything else that I've listened to has been like Cannibal Corpse <laughs> for this video. <laughs> You need to lay down and be quiet. She means you, chat. Yeah, pretty much. Um, listen to this. Yesterday, uh, we got Vile. First album with Corpse Grinder, Corpse Daddy. Um, I fell asleep <laughs> listening to this because it was so calming. <laughs> so, ever listen to Acid Witch? Hell yeah, I've listened to freaking Acid Witch. I got two of their vinyls. Which Tannic Hallucinations is like my fave. Um, that whole album slaps. And I mean, I like Death Doom, my guy. I'm pretty into Death Doom, depending on what it is. Tenebro is also really good. Um, super obsessed with their sound. So, is the album really vile? Uh, it's just good. Like I said, I'm going to mention more of this stuff later um, in a video series I'm doing. But, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, Vile's pretty damn good. Corpse Grinder sounds really good. I don't know. It's just kind of relaxing. I fell asleep listening to the second half um, of this record and... But it wasn't a bad thing. It was just, it was good. It was calming. Um, and I might have shown you all this, but I'm going to show it to you again. Oh, there it is. There's what? You haven't opened it, Bestie? Of course I've opened it. I don't know if I've shared this with y'all or not. You really know what, like... Watching my nun slaughter videos. I love nun slaughter. Yeah, I did an acid bath reaction. Um, oh, that was so good. As I yawn, I've been so tired. I don't know about y'all, and it's not like I stay up till like two in the morning either. Like I went to bed at like ten thirty, woke up at five. Like I even went to bed at like nine thirty a few days ago. You know. Do not yawn at the Nun Slaughter. Nun Slaughter is great. They're one of my favorite bands. 
Love Nunslaughter. And then, yeah, I've got, like I said, all the rest are Cannibal Corpse stuff. So, which I've shown you. But yesterday I also listened to the Bloodies. 9.30 old bat, yeah. Just proving your age more with the sleep. I'm sorry, okay? That's just how I am. So, we got the bleeding with the original cover. Um, first record with Rob Beret. This was pretty, pretty good. Do people still send you stuff? Oh my god, thank you for reminding me. Prof, uh, what would I do without you? Literally, I have two packages to open, and I almost totally forgot. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, girl. Oh. Yes, queen. Hello from Germany. Hi, Michael. How are you? I forgot. Yes, I have two packages. Um, two big ones. Slay a girl. Yeah, that's queen. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get my really big, scary rose gold box cutter. Um, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I have no idea who these packages are from. Um, I would assume maybe Wicked. <laughs> I do have a big package. I have two big packages. God, this box cutter is like way too much. <laughs> hey, Tasmania Metal, how are you? Ah, we have another hydrate from Martian. Okay, hold on. <sighs> Hi, Anna. So we're about to open these two packages. Yeah, the other, the only other vinyls I have are the first four Cannibal Records, Cannibal Corpse Records. I need you to be quiet. Quiet. So. Mm. I'm going to drink one more. Oh. Mm. There's your hydrate. You're welcome. Uh, no. My Twitch wants to torture me by getting the hydrate emote or like cashing in their points, their chat points, so I can just drink a bunch of water and piss my brains out after the stream. Plural of vinyl is vinyl. Just saying, what do you want, queen? Uh, Honestly, vinyls. I don't need your sass today, bestie, okay? Did you know dog food has the most protein content? What are you, Google? Like, hello? Oh, I think this is from Wicked. We got a Rush vinyl. <laughs> listening to gallery of suicide on cassette that's the other um vinyl i have that i haven't listened to yet um so i have like the first six cannibal corpse albums on vinyl and then i have everything on cassette and i think it's everything definitely everything on cassette i don't know about cd so Rush is from your hometown, Toronto. Yeah, it's Rush 20... No. 2112. Audiophile vinyl. Um, looks like that. I've actually never listened to Rush before. That 100% effects on the internet are made up. <laughs> this dick is the most potent protein. Get wrecked. Y'all are in a friggin' mood today. Oh, God. Here's Walking Maddie with some other butt joke he's got. What is it? Dog food has to be 
fit for human consumption by law. No oh God. <laughs> That's the one I have with the hologram on it. This one. Wait, you've never heard Tom Sawyer? I don't think so. Man, Rush looks so cool. I thought that they were like a 90s band. Are they not? Am I just like dumb? When did this come out? <laughs> They're a 70s man? Rush is from the 70s, bro? God, it just shows you how much I know. You want me to open it? The 70s? Why did I think Rush was from the 90s? They broke up in 79? Damn, Gina? Yeah, I didn't see it. I've never actually sat down and listened to them yet. But I know that Wicket's sent me stuff from Rush. I have a, a documentary on them. Quiet. You need to be quiet. That's a progressive hard rock band. We're going to open it up. See what this vinyl looks like. Vegan dog food? Why? Uh, do you know? Yeah, that uh, makes me think of those people that feed their cats vegan. Like, you remember when Cat Von D, like, did the whole, like, vegan cat thing? And I'm like, cats are not supposed to be vegan, bestie. Don't feed your freaking cat vegan. Like, why? Okay, so that's the better cover now that the clear is off. Because their drummer died? Jeez. Rip. Quiet. You're fine. You're literally fine. You need to chill, okay? Chill, chill. Oh my god, we got booty! That's the inside. Cap on D. D's nuts. Is a born again Christian now? She just released a hard rock album. Oh God, do I need to listen to it? Do I want to suffer? I think this might just be a black. Sure, turd. Oh God, it is just a black vinyl. It's fine. Quiet. Good girl. Good girl, Rusty. Good girl. She shut down the tattoo shop and moved out of Cali as well. It's not as bad as it should be. Oh, God. She doesn't do tattooing anymore? I swear to God. Gatefolds are like, I can't. They're so hard. What is it called? Cat Von D's album. Cat Von D's nuts album. Uh, is it called Love Made Me Do It? Is that what it's called? Love Rush. All right. Well, I'll have to. I'll have to listen to them. I think it is called Love Made Me Do It. It's got a 4.7. That's not terrible. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Love Made Me Do It. Born Again Christian My Ass. What do you mean? What do you actually mean? Came out 2021. I mean, it depends. You know? I mean, there's Christian metal music that's pretty okay. That's pretty good. Did you watch Cannibal Corpse's Centuries of Torment documentary? I think I started part one. Chris Barnes is eyeballing Rusty. Chad. Stop trolling me. Girl, 
Isn't Christian Kansas a Christian prog rock band? I don't know. Broken Flesh is a uh, black, no, a death metal Christian band, Christian death metal band. Whenever people, like, there was this poser kid that came into my work, and he's like a university student, whatever. You could tell this kid never listened to fucking metal. And he, like, came into my store, and he was like, hey, I like your shirt. What is it? And I was like, Broken Flesh. And he I was like, they're a Christian death metal band. And the look on his face was hilarious. He was like, oh, this girl's weird. <laughs> Cat Pond Deep Nuts, yeah. These nuts. If you want to be picky, all music would be the devil's music. God. Why would you send this? Packing material. The other one didn't get it. I watched Striper on Headbangers. Val, what? What are you talking about? I think I started watching that uh, Cannibal Corpse documentary. I think there's like... Isn't it like the three-part documentary series? Part one? Like they're all on... Uh, YouTube. Stop trolling me, girl. Bro, what did I do? You may wear band shirts at work? No, I can't anymore. I got in trouble by my freaking DM. Well, my DM was visiting, and my one manager didn't tell me that he was visiting. So I wore my baby pink stabbing t-shirt. Stabbing. Literally all it says is Stabbing. Will you shut up? Quiet. And, dude, district manager. My district manager came in. I was wearing my pink freaking stabbing t-shirt. And I was like, oh, God. Yeah, and he was like, you've got to wear, like, a an actual, you know, shirt for the company. And I was like, okay. So, yeah. <sighs> Quiet. You relax. You'll be fine. Life is not over. He's a poser. Well, yeah. And then, so, then he asked, like, what is it that you do? You know, I don't know. He was trying to, like, bond with us or whatever. And I was like, you know, I do a YouTube channel on uh, metal, you know. And he's like, oh, you do? Like, what kind? And I was like extreme metal you know like gore grind porno grind death metal um stuff like that and he was like first first word out of his mouth he giggled and then he was like ew <laughs> yeah i know i told y'all before but some of y'all don't know so i was like okay so aerosmith oh that's cool I didn't even, I just uh, unboxed the, the vinyl and didn't see it until just now. Um, Aerosmith rocks from the original source tapes, 180 gram audiophile vinyl. Stabbing slaps. Yeah, they do. Stabbing's awesome. Your pet is freaking out because thinks you're talking alone. <laughs> she just wants to like. She just wants to be out of her crate so that she can, like, drink water and then, like, just, I don't know, take her cuddly bear, which she's been slowly ripping out all of the stuffing out of the ass. Like, literally, there's two legs now that are missing stuffing and a massive hole in the butt. And she just wants to, to rip out all the stuffing out of the crate. You're starving her of water? No, she's just in her crate. She gets plenty of water, girl. You're depriving her of water and all you do is hydrate? Look. Okay. She's fine. I ain't worried about her. Okay. Um. Back in the saddle. Last child. Rats in the cellar. This is another classic. Aerosmith. Mean mommy? Definitely not. Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> no, because the problem is, is that she's a turd. Why are you guys doing the hydrate? I'll drink for her, but she's an absolute turd. Like, the thing is, is, like, she, I already told you all of the, the things she did in 10 days. Does your dog sleep in the same bed as you? Yes. And she's a bed hog. <laughs> but I keep her in the, I, I, I let her sleep on the bed because, um, if I have her in the crate, then she'll whine first thing in the morning at like four in the morning. And I'm like, I need a little more sleep than that. All right. Oh, I'm not there. I'm not quite there yet. That hydrate is for Rusty and a stretch too. Oh my gosh. Okay. He's <laughs> corned beef rose. Hmm. <laughs> That's what she did. She's a counter surfer. She shoved as much corned beef roast in her mouth as she possibly could. And then she chewed on my couch, ripped a hole in my couch after like a week of having it. <laughs> so if you could see her now, she took her cuddly bear and ripped out a bunch more stuffing that it's now like, oh God, it's now like exploded out of the crate and it's like in her crate too so <sighs> yeah she's a turd she is a turd no you're a turd I'm a Kaya uh-huh you didn't even spell my damn name right mm. there's your stretch or there's your hydrate I'll stretch in a minute. What are you doing? You are such a turd. My pit bull when she was younger destroyed the so-called undestroyable toy. Yes. I'm a killer. <laughs> I'm a Kia. Oh, God. That's how Spooner was. Spooner would, like, destroy all of the, like, you know, indestructible toys from like the uh bark box or whatever i used to pay like 35 dollars a month for that thing because i was spoiling ro him rotten you're a terrible person honestly get out don't ever say that to me again you're <laughs> rusty is a virtuous young lady she is Let's talk about you. Why? I need you to calm down, sir. Let me deal with my own dog. I know what I do. <laughs> I know how to take care of her. And she's very happy and very content. So, you don't have to worry about her. How many caches have you chewed up lately? Zero. <laughs> We all know, we know all we need to know about Kia's. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I have to go to work. Have a fantabulous day. Bye, Tasmanian Metal. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Do you want me to take her out of her crate so you can see her? I'm a Kia. Telluride? Oh, God. Couches are high in fiber. Oy. Thanks, Red Cloud. I do enjoy the shirt. It is one of my favorites. What? Would you like to come and say hi to chat? Okay. All right. I'll let her out of her crate. But I'm just going to clean these boxes up real quick. I have like this whole anaconda thing. Cues up destroying everything by hate breed. <laughs> yes. You gotta watch her, dude. She'll eat pretty much anything. She's in that phase. So. Okay. Come here, you turd. Oh my gosh. No, come here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Is that my girl? Is that my girl? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, she's. What's on the back of my shirt? Nothing. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hon. That's what my, that, that's a, anytime I see anaconda, that's what I think about. My anaconda don't, prof, why are we like the same person? Gawk at these nuts. You can send her anything. Don't ever do that again. You're welcome. You remember when that came out? You remember when she performed that at the VMAs? Bestie. Oh my god, do you remember when Miley like wore the chicken wing thing? Like everybody was comparing her ass to a chicken wing. You don't watch the VMAs, but you remember that from like 2013, right? Oh, I have to show you if you don't. Do you want me to take her out of the crate so you can see her? <laughs> Hold on, let's see if I can pull it up. <laughs> Miley chicken wing chicken meme. <laughs> yes! It looks like that! <laughs> Do you remember that? This was her butt. This was her butt at that VMAs. Bro. Bestie. <laughs> Someone stole my band shirts? Oh my gosh, why? I don't remember because it's the first time I was seeing this. Well, you're lucky. You are lucky. Iconic picture. Yeah, right? Come here, bestie. Hi, honey. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo, woo. Kit Robin thicked. <laughs> oh God. I'm just full of the memes today. She's just continuing without me. Does Rusty like one-on-one donations? I haven't shown it to her. Time to dial down the volume. You're welcome. Olivia Rodrigo is bomb as fuck. No. Hard pass. How old is Rusty? She'll be 10 months in four or three days. Three days. Almost 10 months. You're welcome. Now she's out of her crate, which means I gotta watch her, so. <laughs> but. That's gonna be it for the stream today. I gotta go pee. But I'm gonna film uh, a video today. So that should be, depending on how long it it takes me to edit it. Should be up later this week for my early access folks. So, girl, yes. So, we will be doing a music stream Wednesday this week. Um, I will be out of town this weekend, starting Friday through Monday. Um, but we decided to do a music stream on black metal, right? That was our theme. Oh, my gosh. Hi, baby. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. 
Bonk, bonk. We decided to do it, right? Yeah. So it's on black metal. Ow. So, um, yeah. If you want to submit a song for that, uh, just join my Discord. If you're a YouTube channel member, a Twitch sub, or a Patreon sub, you can get um, early access. So it's going to be fun. Ow. It's going to be fun. Um, yeah. Black metal. I like me some black metal. So, and then if you also participate in the stream, you'll be able to help out pick the, help pick the uh, theme for the following stream, which is nice. So, yeah. My song is first in the Discord. It always is, bro. I hope you guys had fun. Um, yeah, I got, I got some good videos that I'm working on right now. They're just, you know taking longer because I'm putting more effort into them so hydrate oh god <laughs> yeah I'm putting more effort into them they're just gonna be you know um higher quality I don't know you know so mm. that's what I got so I hope you have a wonderful Monday thanks for hanging out with me today um Mm. we got that new deicide record i'm excited about that um so black metal yawn oh please anyway you guys i'll see you later okay okay bye it was so good having you here i will see you on wednesday on twitch okay i'm a killer <laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye-bye, mom.